So you guys, this hair is from Icy Hair. This is from their Princess Collection and it is their Loose Deep Wave Headband Wig. I know, I know, I know I be showing y'all a lot of headband wigs, but like I just love them, okay? Like I wear these all the time, like for real. So this is the inside of the cap you can see here. Pretty much the same as all the other headband wigs, but I did notice it had a comb in the middle of the wig, kind of like a lace frontal does. If you peep that, if you didn't just rewind. So when I first put on a headband wig, like it's a new one, I always check to see how it feels to me when I'm putting it on. So I felt like this was pretty all head friendly. It wasn't tight, but it wasn't too loose or anything. I think it would be customizable to pretty much anyone. So I'm adjusting it. It does have the Velcro as most headband wigs do. And I just wanted y'all to be able to see, you know, how I snapped that in the back. If you were wondering, do not mind my beta beads back there. And then I'm also touching up the front of my edges just because they need a little touching up, but they were already done. They just needed a little, little work. I absolutely love the curl pattern of this hair. Loose Deep Wave is one of my favorite like curl patterns. And I love the feel of the texture as well. This is what it looks like before you do anything to it. And then I only really finger comb through this one just to kind of give myself some volume and undefine those curls. Cause you know, I don't like too much definition in my curls. The length of this unit is 20 inches and the density is 180%. And I think that's a really good density for this unit because it's like big hair, but not overpowering kind of big hair. Like it's just right on point. So I really like that. They also sent me three of their headbands to show you guys. And I'm gonna start out with the cheetah print one. I really like the headbands that they sent me cause they're a little different. They loop in the front, like actually loop in the front, not just kind of like sewn and bunched together. It's like an actual loop. So I thought that was like, you know, a little different than the usual headbands that we get in these packages. I also, as I always do in my headband videos, pulled it forward so you can see what it looks like with no edges out. The next headband we have is this blue and white one. It seems like a fusion between like tie dyed and striped. This headband seemed a little bit thicker to me than the cheetah print one did. So if you really don't like your edges out or not a whole lot of edges out, this one's gonna be a good one cause it really covers you. I felt like the tangling and shedding was pretty minimal. As you can see, I only got like one strand there. And I just really think this one specifically is really cute for the gym. And I'm gonna tell you why. You see it in that ponytail I just had in this bun. It's really curly, but it's a loose curly. So you can maneuver it pretty easily. It's not too thick, but it's like giving you, you know, a little va va voom to regular gym styles of like a ponytail or a bun. Like it just looks really cute. <laughs> Now I attempted to add a little razzle dazzle to the bun look by pulling some hairs out since this is kind of a loose curly look. Y'all let me know what y'all think of the fangs on the side. I don't know how I feel yet. Like sometimes I think it's cute playing this back, but sometimes I'm like, mm, I don't know, but I'll let y'all decide. You know what I mean? <laughs> I absolutely loved it in my favorite style of the half up, half down. I think there's something to curly units or units with a lot of volume that just look really good when you have it in the half up, half down style. Now this headband, I feel like really goes with the hair cause you know, it's like vacation hair, tropical vacation looking headband, like they pair up well. I got a little fancy guys. I whipped out my wand curler and I'm gonna curl this unit. I did not straighten it or blow dry it first because I really love how like deep wave or loose deep wave hair curls. If you watched my frontal version of doing loose deep wave hair, like the curls just have some type of bounce to it that you can only get with deep wave. I love it. So I was like, I can't, you know, try this one on and not try any curls. So I'm taking my wand through it. And again, I'm not putting any extra heat before that into this hair because I feel like the curl pattern really allows the hair to curl and bounce really well. So after I finished curling the hair, I just brushed them out and played with them a little bit to see how I wanted them situated. And this is the look I settled on. I think this is so cute. 
I think I finally, finally found something to do with this headband because it was not working on the last wig I tried this on. But we're gonna see how it looks on this. I've been waiting to use this denim headband. And I think it actually looks pretty good. Now, I also wanted you guys to see what some of the similar styles to the beginning and also the headbands look like now that we pretty much changed this wig into a whole nother wig. So you got a two for one here. I love the half up, half down. Look at them curls bounce, yes. Now that we know it can hold a curl, I wanted to see how well it could reverse. So I sprayed this down with some water to see what the curls would look like, you know, once we tried to revert the hair after adding heat to it. Once I put the water to it, I felt like the hair immediately reverted. Now it's still wet, so it's not gonna be the same deep wig we started with, but you know, it's a nice little wet and wavy look till it dries. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.